What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and Google sent me a mystery package. Okay, so about a month ago, I was at work and randomly checking my email when I noticed that I had received one from the one and only hashtag Team Pixel. Thank you, God. Okay, to be honest, I had no idea who or what Team Pixel was at the time. And after reading the email saying that Google wanted my personal information and my address, I was 90% sure that it was spam. And I very nearly deleted it without a response. But after doing some research, I realized that Team Pixel is a legit program that Google runs. So I passed over my information and they said pretty vaguely that they would be in contact and may send over a gift box in the near future. Well, almost a month on the dot, I got an email from Team Pixel saying that Google sent me a mystery package and lo and behold, I got a note from FedEx saying that they had a box waiting for me. So I took the notice, got in the car, drove down to the FedEx store, picked up the package and took it back to the studio. And I wanted to open it up with you guys so we could take a look at what Google sent over. Now, before we get into the unboxing, if you're into checking out the latest consumer tech products before you buy them, or if you're just a tech head like me, I make a video like this every single week. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell icon so you could be the first to know when a new JS0 review is out and you don't miss anything. And real quick, I know it's a loaded question, but I'm curious to know, are you guys primarily Android users or iOS users. Now be proud of the operating system that you use and let me know in the comments down below. That being said, let's get into this mystery package. Okay, so when you look at the box itself, you kind of get a sense of what's inside. I mean, the outline here and the hashtag team pixel does kind of give it away, but I was still super excited to get it open nonetheless to see all the goodies that Google sent over. So I opened it up and lo and behold, Google sent me over the new Pixel 3a, which is actually super awesome because I've never had a Pixel device before. I've always been a huge fan so super psyched to have the opportunity to check this out. They also sent over the official Google Pixel 3a fabric case, which I have to say is pretty nice. I've never had this sort of textured case before. They also sent over this dope hashtag Team Pixel pop socket, which is pretty great, and this Google tote bag that has the Google logo on the front and Team Pixel on the back. There's also this nice little card they included that says, the Google Pixel 3a is finally here and we'd like you to be among the first to have one. It's got the same outstanding camera as the Pixel 3, the Google Assistant to help you get things done, and many other helpful features for you to explore and fall in love with. So speaking of the Pixel 3a, this is an extremely exciting device as it in many ways truly represents a budget phone with a starting price tag of just $399. But the huge kicker here is that you get a lot of the same features and functionality of the flagship Google Pixel 3 phones. The main one being the revered Pixel 3 camera, arguably considered to be one of the best cameras on a smartphone. Now Google sent me over the non-XL version of the phone in the just black color, which is perfect for me as I always prefer going with a darker, more sleek color option. And once you open up the box, you're greeted with the phone itself, you got some standard paperwork and Google stickers, and behind that you have a USB to USB-C charging cable, a USB-C to Type-A adapter, and an 18 watt charging brick for fast charging. Which I have to say, considering that I paid $1200 for the 10s Max and didn't get quick charging accessories, these are not only a nice to have, but an impressive inclusion given the price point. When you peel the cover off, what you have is a phone that looks virtually identical to the regular Pixel 3. It has that very clean and simple, almost industrial design with its minimal branding, its unapologetic forehead and chin, and this black color really gives it a subdued, unpolished look to the phone that I'm a fan of. Now, this isn't going to be a full-on review, that's coming soon, but I have to say, as far as first impressions are concerned, I am incredibly impressed with the Pixel 3a. Using the phone has been so enjoyable that when I remember that it only cost $399, I'm seriously kind of left speechless at the value that you're getting here. To me, this is a really new take on a budget phone, in it that it cuts costs on areas that you think you're going to care about, out, but honestly, you probably really don't. And in turn gives you pro features that you don't really think about too often, but in actuality are the things that you interact and rely on the most with your phone. Overall, I'm excited to put the Pixel 3a through the ringer. So much so, I'm even thinking about putting my SIM card in it and using it as my dedicated phone for a month straight. Now as an Apple fanboy, that sounds kind of terrifying to me. To give you context, the last Android phone that I used as my primary phone was the Galaxy S3, and I've been on iPhones ever since. But let me know in the comments if you guys think that's a good idea to switch it up. Curious to get your thoughts. Okay, that's about it for the short review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. It really helps me out. And before I forget, big ups to Google and Team Pixel for sending out the gift package. And equally so, big thanks to you guys for supporting the channel, which allows me to have opportunities to partner with great companies like this. If you guys have any questions about the Pixel 3a or want to see anything specific in the upcoming review, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.